time to set the record straight with common myths about nutrition and fitness. Uh -huh. In today's Catching the Wave to Better Health, Manolo spoke with the folks from UHA. So we've got some good points to make about nutrition and fitness. I'm going to start with Cindy Leong over here, who is a registered dietitian with UHA. And, um, okay, a lot of good things on this table. Some are good for us and bad for us. Talk about, it's basically, uh, it's about the different fats that you take in. Right, so there's a lot of misconception and confusion about nutrition, and there's actually two types of fats. There's good fats and bad fats. And we have good fats that are monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fat that come from fish, nuts, beans and legumes, and we also have so recommended, yes, okay. and it's recommended to cook with canola oil or olive oil. Uh, we also have bad fats, which is directly linked to elevating your cholesterol levels, and that's mainly in anything that's an animal. So it's going to be your beef, chicken, and pork. It's not in any plant-based animals. Not fish, though. Fish is good. Right. Fish yeah, is yeah. good. And um, you want to try every day to read labels and lower your saturated intake. So if you need more information, contact your local dietitian, or you can check out USDA website, um, choosemyplate.gov. So the important thing is to, to go with the unsaturated fats, Correct. essentially. Uh, John Hofstetler, uh, in addition to nutrition, it's good to, you need to get your body moving. You're the expert on that. Well, there's two common misconceptions that I wanted to address. The first one was that resistance training or strength training with weights among women will make them big and bulky. Uh, that simply That's isn't true. Not true. Yeah. Not true. Um, but the women don't have the same amount of testosterone as men. And so when they exercise uh, with weights, the, re the results are going to be a little bit different. So instead of being big and bulky, they're going to be lean, they're going to be strong, and they're going to burn more body fat while they're at rest. Okay. So weight training is good for men and women, essentially. That's right. That's right. And the second misconception is that you need to work out really a long period of time to get good results. In a short amount of time, with a few exercises done at high intensity, you can get a great workout and move on with your day have patience and uh, certainly uh, stick to it. As, as That's right. Again. Just got to stick to it. Stick to it. Dr. George McPheeters, the Chief uh, Medical Officer at UHA. Uh, one of the things I, I guess uh, for some people, maybe not enough people are paying attention to really about their whole uh, uh, getting in touch with a dietitian when they need it. Well, that's absolutely true. It's an important benefit. Uh, diabetics uh, that are covered by UHA can see a, a registered dietitian without a referral. Anybody can see a dietitian and have that service covered with a referral. Um, very important information. And you know, on the wellness side, the fitness side, if we're lucky enough to live in Hawaii at 21 degrees north latitude <laughs> with the trade winds and surrounded by the ocean and these Onaga swimming out in the ocean, we should take advantage of all of that. Be active and eat right. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of choices out there, good choices out there. We should be making those. Absolutely, day in and day out. All right, thank you very much. We'll be back after this break.